Hey guys, so today we're gonna to be doing a try on haul. I purchased a whole bunch of products from Credo Beauty, which is um, a, like a brick and mortar store in New York City. I don't know if they have any other locations, but they also have a very large online presence. And I had purchased a few Ritual Defee products uh, a couple weeks ago during Mishmas, tried them out, loved them. And so I went online and purchased a few more things. So this is essentially like a full face of clean beauty. I've also received a few things in PR that I wanted to try out. So I thought I would just kind of do this try on full face clean beauty mashup. So let's go ahead and get started with um, uh, this product I purchased off of Credo, and this is from, I believe the brand is Kinship, and it is their Probiotic Moisturizing Zinc Oxide Sunscreen SPF 32. And I'm always on the hunt for a physical sunscreen that isn't too, uh, you know, white cast powdery looking on the face. Um, the one that I love and use all the time is the Kipris Pot of Shade um, Heliotropic, but you know, we're always looking for some new stuff, right? So I thought I would give this a shot. I got really good uh, reviews on Credo Beauty. So again, this is Kinship. So the product is actually called Self Reflect and comes in this tube. So here's what the product looks like lotion-y, and there's a very cool tone to this. So let's see, it feels very, very nice. It doesn't feel like powdery at all. That is not nearly enough, so I'm gonna squeeze out a bunch more. Definitely see a bit of a white cast, but let's see, sometimes it fades if I just kind of keep blending it in. So the two call-out ingredients uh, in this sunscreen is turmeric, which is a superfood that soothes and it protects skin, and then lactobacillus ferment. It's a plant-based probiotic which supports clear skin, which I'm always down with, and it is clean, cruelty-free, vegan, dermatologist tested. So like I mentioned, it is zinc oxide. It is 32 SPF, and there's 22.4% zinc oxide in here and it is not water resistant. So it does say if you need water resistance to apply like a water resistant sunscreen. Well, it does have a little bit of that uh, like physical sunscreen uh, kind of shininess to it. I have dry skin, so I don't really mind that, but I did want to mention that. And I do feel like there is definitely a little bit of a, a little bit of a white cast. Like my skin definitely looks a little bit more cool toned than it did. I think my favorite part though, is that this doesn't smell weird or funky at all. There is a little bit of a scent. I don't think it's fragrance. I think it's just uh, a scent and it's not, it's not offensive at all. It's very, very mild. Oh, that's really nice. Cause you know, sometimes sunscreens can smell super funky, but this, yeah, this smells okay. And it is made in the US and this tube is 50 grams, 1.75 ounces. All right, not a bad start. I did get a new foundation, so I am curious to see how it's gonna sit on top of this SPF. I picked up the EXA, I think that's the brand name, EXA, E-X-A. And when I went on to Credo Beauty, it was like the first thing that popped up. And I thought that I had seen this foundation maybe someplace else, like maybe on Instagram or something. Anyway, I became very curious about it. There's a lot of shades. And so I ended up going with James 410. That's the shade that I decided to choose. And let's see, it has protective microalgae actives, soothing maki berry and hydrating hyaluronic acid, team up with advanced pigment technology to wear light and last long. So it is a semi satin foundation and charged with anti-pollution actives. Cruelty-free, vegan, gluten-free, 33 mils. Um, all right, let's bust this open. And this packaging is really great. So it comes in this paper box, uh, recyclable. And then what it sits in, usually this is like plastic, but it's actually like a molded paper insert. And then the bottle is glass and it has the E on the cap there. Let's see, okay, shake well, made in USA. Let me go ahead and shake this. It doesn't have any application suggestions, so I will probably uh, just use a brush, which is my uh, preferred method. Oh, on the bottom it says, oh wow, box is recycle or compost, inner tray is recycle or compost, bottle is rinse and recycle, the cap discard and trash, too small to recycle, and the pump discard and trash. So I guess the 
um, cap and this pump are plastic. Oh, they're really pretty though, are plastic. It's like this really deep, deep, deep green. And then there's even an expiration date on here, which is awesome. It expires April 2022, so more than a year from now. I wish they would put it on the bottle because I am definitely gonna be recycling this box and I don't think I'm gonna remember that. But anyway, that is really, really good to know. Oh, there's like a little shaker ball in there. All right, I'm just going to pump some out onto the back of my hand. Looks like it has a, you know, typical texture. There's a little bit of running there, not too much. I've got my BK Beauty 101 brush and I'm just gonna pick some up and spread on my cheeks. Oh, I wonder if this is a little bit too deep and warm for me. Hmm, this could be a good summertime foundation. So again, this is James 410. It's just a hint too warm. I feel like if it was a little bit more neutral, I could maybe get away with it, but yeah, it's looking very kind of like peachy on my skin, but I think that's okay. I think it actually, yeah, it actually looks really nice on my forehead. That's good. At least it's not a foundation I'm going to have to bronze up too much. <laughs> I smell, I smell something, but nothing very, very mild. Maybe almost like a like a fruity kind of, maybe like citrusy kind of scent. But again, just super, super mild. I don't think it's even anything to, to note there. All right, so there it is on half of my face. Yeah, I would say the coverage is like light medium for sure. And I just put on a really light amount. But I think that looks really nice. The um, radiance of the SPF is definitely coming through. The finish of this, I don't think it's added any radiance to the SPF. In fact, it looks a little bit better actually right here. Like my face right here looks really shiny from the SPF. Here it looks a little bit more uh, like satin, like a satin finish versus just straight up shine. All right, let me go ahead and apply to the rest of my face. That was one pump. I'm gonna pump out like a half a pump. I think that will finish off the rest of my face. Yeah, so far it is looking beautiful on my skin. No breaking up, no like pore emphasis. I have like larger pores right here. I have a little bit of texture along my forehead from past eczema. That looks totally fine. I have a little bit of uh, texture and hyperpigmentation down here. It looks really smooth. Wow, so far, really, really impressed. Oh, beautiful, okay, wow. So that's the EXA, I think I'm pronouncing that correctly, the EXA foundation, the High Fidelity Semi Satin Foundation. All right, um, oh, something I forgot to put on before I started applying makeup is uh, something for my lips. My lips are really dry, you can probably see that. And Ilya sent me their latest product. This is their Lip Wrap Hydrating Mask and it comes in this little jar. And you can see I've already used it a couple of times. It is really, really lovely. And I've been using it as a balm. It definitely is a balm on the richer side, but in terms of a lip mask, I would say it's a little bit on the lighter side. Like lip masks for me, the ones that I've used at least, uh, tend to be a little bit thicker and they kind of just sit on your lips. You know, they're meant to kind of just sit and kind of slowly <laughs> penetrate your lips like all throughout the night. But this one is definitely a little bit lighter than that, but it is a really nice, rich kind of balm. And I've been using it uh, like as a prep for my lips when I'm doing makeup. I usually like to put something on my lips while I'm doing makeup, I get to my lips last. They feel a little bit better by the time I get there. And this has been really nice for that. So a big thank you to Ilya for sending this over. And there's no fragrance whatsoever, which is great. You know, and while I'm at it, the other product that I was sent in PR from Keir Weiss is their new Beautiful Eye Balm. And I've been using this kind of as like a makeup prep during the day. As you guys know, I'm a little bit lazy when it comes to eye cream. I'll put it on if I feel like, I don't know, like I need it or if I just remember to, but that definitely is, especially during the daytime, like the one step that I will skip out on. You know, I'll do the serum, the oil, the toner, you know, moisturizer, all that stuff, sunscreen, but I won't do like a separate eye cream. So this is actually great because I keep it at my vanity and it is more of like a balm kind of 
texture here, which you can use under your eyes, you can use on your lips as well. And so if I keep it here, I just throw some on right before I start doing my makeup. And if you use like just a thin amount, it actually is a really nice primer because it plumps up those little lines and I've really been enjoying it. I don't know if you can see that, but my under eyes, they just look a lot smoother. They're a little puffy because <laughs> I slept a lot last night. They're a little puffy, but I think that the, the actual skin is really, really nice and smooth. So yeah, I've just been keeping this at my vanity and like throwing it on before my first makeup step. Um, sometimes I'll put it on before SPF, sometimes I'll put it on after, and you can also use it, you know, as like lip balm or whatever. So anyway, just wanted to mention this and a big thank you to Kira Weiss for sending this over to me. All right, as for powder, I don't have anything new, but I do have this powder from Ilya. This is their Radiant Translucent Powder in Moon Dance. And Ilya's loose powders, they come in like the regular jar and then they also have some of the shades or maybe just this one shade in this uh, like travel type dispenser so it's got the built-in brush and then here there's a twisty between close and open so I'm gonna go ahead and twist it all the way around to open and it clicks and then you can see the powder it kind of comes out of the center of the brush but I like to pounce it on the back of my hand just to get enough out before I kind of start on my face. So, and you can see like the powder start to come out. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pounce. This brush is fairly dense and because it's in this packaging, like the bristles are a little bit short too. So it is a very dense brush. So I like to pounce with this. I don't really like to uh, sweep too much because I feel like because it's a dense brush, you know, I don't wanna move any of the foundation or anything that I may have on my face already. So I just like, pouncing and I feel like the pouncing also helps get the powder out. So it does a really, really nice job setting down makeup and a little bit of mattifying. You can see that the shine has been taken down quite a bit from this side. So I've just powdered this side. This side is still unpowdered. So you can see there's quite a bit more shine and it's been taken down on this side, but it doesn't look flat or anything. I still feel like I have a little bit of like a, a radiance there, but nothing too much. So I've used this before and as you guys know I really really love this powder. All right next up I definitely feel like I need a little bit of help <laughs> carving out my cheekbones today. Um, so I'm going to use my Westman Atelier contour stick in Biscuit and I'm just going to use my fingers just pick some up with my finger and just kind of tap it underneath my cheekbone here. So because I've laid down some powder already I'm just going to tap this product in. All right, just a little, a little help, <laughs> a little help with the, uh, the cheekbones there. All right, so that was the Westman Atelier contour stick, which I've had and loved for a very long time. Um, but let's move on to blush. And I've picked up a new blush from Ritual to Fee, and this is the Inner Glow Creme Pigment. And I had purchased one of these uh, from Ritual to Fee and decided I needed to get another one. So I went with the shade Delirium, and this is a really beautiful, like red terracotta warm shade. I'm not sure if this is gonna go well with the eyeshadow palette that I'll be using, but that's okay. We're just playing around with makeup today. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my finger, and here it is on my finger. You can see how bright and like warm that is. And just gonna tap because these are really, really pigmented. I'm gonna tap just a little bit, actually. I'm gonna split that amount between my two cheeks and then blend in. I feel like this could be the cream blush version of the NARS Exhibit A. It's giving me that same vibe. Oh, I love it. Wow, another winner from Ritual Defeat. So that is their Inner Glow Creme Pigment in Delirium. Really pretty. And I don't feel like it looks that orange or warm on the cheeks. Like same with the Exhibit A, it looks so intimidating in the pan, but as soon as you put it on, it just sort of brings out like the healthy color in your cheeks. Wow, I'm loving that. I had a really hard time picking out <laughs> which shade I wanted. Uh, I'm glad I went with that one. All right, next up, highlighter. So Aether Beauty sent me um, a highlight and an eyeshadow palette, which is what we're gonna be using uh, next. But this highlight, it's called their Supernova Crush Diamond Highlighter. And they sent over pure diamond dust for me to try. And I swatched this because uh, Tara Babies here on YouTube, she loves these highlighters. So as soon as I opened up the box and saw that they sent me one of these, which thank you so much, by the way, 
I was like, I have to swatch this. Can you see even just like that part that I touched, how shiny that is? This is an incredibly, incredibly bright, bright highlight. So I'm gonna take it easy. I'm gonna use a really light, fluffy kind of brush and just dust it on ever so lightly. So I'm gonna go with the Wayne Goss Artist Brush. This is the medium size. And I'm just gonna glide it just gently <laughs> over the highlight and just, like I said, just gently kind of place it <laughs> on my cheeks. I don't know why I'm so afraid. I love highlight. So there it is. I mean, just the lightest dusting of it. Can you see how bright that is? And there are little bits of micro glitter in there, but I feel like when a highlight is this bright and shiny, it almost doesn't even matter. Like the glitters, they don't stand out too much. Do you know what I mean? Like if it's a more subtle highlight, you really see those little like micro glitters in there. But when it's this shiny, it's it's fine. I feel like they kind of blend in a lot more nicely. Oh, let me actually, let me actually give you a swatch. That'll probably give you a better idea. Do you see that? Do you see that shine? And here it is on my hand. Isn't that intense? <laughs> this is like the definition of intense highlight and I can see why Tar Babies is so smitten with these. And I know there's a maybe three shades of this highlight. So this um, Pure Diamond Dust is perfect for me because I think the other two are a little bit, I don't know if they're deeper. I think one is like more gold and then the other one is a little bit deeper, but this one really, really works well for my skin tone, in case you were curious. So another gorgeous product from Aether Beauty. All right, next up for brows, I'm gonna just use my Ilia Essential Brow in medium brown. And I've used this before for you guys, but it's just a tinted brow gel. And it is a very decent brow gel. I do like my Tom Ford Fiber Brow Gel more, but this product is really is just fine. As for eyeshadow, um, Aether Beauty sent over their Rose Quartz Crystal Gemstone Palette, and I was so excited to get this because, I mean, look how gorgeous those shades are. And this is why I thought maybe that uh, cream blush, because it was so warm, I thought maybe it wasn't gonna go with this palette because this one is fairly neutral slash cool. But actually I think this blush, now that it's on my cheeks, it doesn't actually look that warm. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and apply some of these shadows. I'm so excited. So I think I wanna do like a pinky look. So maybe I'm gonna stick to like this side of the palette. Some of the shades in here are duochrome. Actually, you know what? Let me go ahead and swatch this whole palette for you. I'll flash that up here for you now. I'm going to swatch from up here and around, and then I'm gonna swatch um, counterclockwise in the center here, starting from the top. And then the last four shades, I'll start from top and go down the bottom. So the first shade is Heartstone, then we have Stardust, Sandstone, Rose Quartz, and then here are the four center shades, Divine, Reawakening, I think this is pronounced a start, Aura, and then these are the four shades on the right side, Scorpio, Aphrodite, Grounding, and Crystalline. All right, I'm gonna start with my BK Beauty 202 brush. I'm gonna go into Sandstone here, and I'm just gonna brush this all over the lid. It's almost like my skin tone. I mean, I think you can see it a little bit on my lid, but it's pretty much the same as my skin tone. So I'm just gonna lay down a light layer of this, kind of prep my lids for some powder. And then I'm gonna take this uh, like mauvey gray shade up here, it's called Scorpio. I'm gonna take just a little bit of that and add that to my outer corner here. The first um, Aether product I used is like an eyeshadow quad that I purchased, I think during the Sephora VIB uh, event, the last one, and I, I love them. They perform really, really beautifully. And so I'm not surprised at how beautifully this matte is just blending in. It looks so soft and blown out and I don't have any fallout or anything. Wow, these are blending like a dream. Next I've got my BK Beauty 203 brush. I'm gonna go into this shade down here. This one's called Rose Quartz and I'm gonna apply this to like the center part of my lid. Wow, their metallics are so, so pretty. And then I'm gonna go into Stardust, which is this uh, like off-white kind of satin shade. And I'm just gonna apply that to the inner corner here. And I've got this BK Beauty 207 brush. It's like a really small, dense 
like eye buffing brush. I'm gonna go back into Stardust, which was that light shimmery shade. And I'm just gonna drag that underneath my lash line, maybe just the inner third. Take the same brush and go back into Scorpio, which was that matte shade that I used on the outer corner and just drag that along my lower lash line. Just kind of blend those two shades together, that Stardust and this Scorpio. All right, that is it for eyeshadow. These are so pretty. A big thank you to Aether Beauty for sending over the eyeshadow and the highlight. I mean, they're just, they're so pretty. They're so, so pretty. All right, I'm going to um, curl my eyelashes and I've got my favorite Clean Beauty mascara here, which is from Ilia. This is their Limitless Lash Mascara. And I love putting on two coats. I use the shorter bristles on this brush first and then the longer bristles second. Look at that volume and length I get. Oh, and before we move on to lips, I did want to mention that I did purchase another Ritual Defeat product, but I just don't think I can squeeze it in. But I did want to show you, this is the Ash and Ember Eye Soot. I really fell in love with the one that I purchased. So I got the shade Golden Age, which I thought would be a great kind of one and done shadow. It's like a bronze and here's what it looks like in the little jar. Look at that color. Oh my God. I cannot wait to do another look, just kind of focusing around this shade. Do like a one and done smoky eye look. Oh. So definitely keep an eye out for that because that I definitely want to do soon. All right, and last but not least for lips, I'm going to use one of my Tower 28 Shine On Milky Lip Jellies. These are uh, the ones that have a little bit uh, less of a clear base to them. There's four colors in total. I absolutely love these. And I don't think I use these uh, actually like in tutorials very much with you, but I use them all the time off camera. I just kind of always throw them on. So this is in the shade Oat and they're just the perfect like low maintenance kind of lip product. They just give my lips like that juiciness. And then because it has like a little bit of that milkiness, there's like a little bit of perfecting to my lips because my lips can be very, very dry and they can have like lines or whatever. This really just kind of camouflages all of that really beautifully. So that is it for this try on Clean Beauty haul. I am really, really impressed with this Exa foundation so far and I've been sitting here for about an hour. It looks fantastic. I'm loving it. This um, SPF cream, really, really nice. It did not interfere with this particular foundation. So lovely. I love the Ritual Defee. Um, cream blush that was gorgeous the aether beauty products absolutely gorgeous so thank you guys so much for tuning in i hope you enjoyed this video please let me know what some of your favorite clean beauty products are down below in the comment section i would love to try them out and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe down below if you haven't already and i will see you in my next video